I must be just a little bit insane today. I'm here at the Toronto Zoo and I want to get some images of the new baby animals. Uh, I believe there's a new giraffe, definitely a new polar bear, and a new gorilla. Those are the ones I know about, but uh, as you can probably see behind me, it's actually snowing. I, I must be a little bit insane doing this. Yes, I know. At least I stand out, right? So, first off, I'm going to go see the pandas again, and then I'll get around to the other parts of the zoo. Hopefully I'll have some footage up for you guys. See ya. I thought the other one would be outside, but oh well, there he is, facing the wall, so we can't even get a picture of his face. And happily munching away on some bamboo, as pandas do. Don't often see the wombat out and about, so let's... get a good shot of him. Action shot! One of the reasons I actually like coming to the zoo, the beaver tail. It's one of the few places around here I know where you can get these things and they're horribly expensive, but uh, I don't care, they're damn tasty. It's fried dough with toppings, but I don't, <laughs> what can I say? Missed it? Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere near it, and I can't get through this very nicely. Oh. Well, at least there are two animals out here enjoying the snow. One over on the left, you mean? That's the, that's the one I thought you were talking about. There's <laughs> two right in front of you there. Yeah, deer are like that, surprisingly. Yeah. I've had deer cross in front of me on that's the road, <laughs> and you learn very quickly that where there's one, yeah, there's, there's two or more. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. One thing about the Toronto Zoo that might not be so obvious from my other videos, there's a lot of walking. So, you can probably just see it down there. That's the America's Pavilion. Polar bears are just behind that. And way up there, I think this is the Africa Pavilion. But yeah, there's a lot of walking between the ex different exhibits here. Oh well, 
they try to keep the forest around here relatively natural. They don't do too much maintenance. Obviously clear out the brush a little bit, and this is obviously a lot of the damage from the ice storm that they had here not too long ago. Well, I was on vacation in New Brunswick, but uh, this is actually quite tiring. Okay, so I'm in front of the giraffe enclosure, and as you can see, no giraffes, and they don't actually let anybody into the building. So, no baby giraffe. And the baby polar bear isn't out yet either. Well, let's see if the mother is actually letting anybody look at the baby gorilla. Well, this is promising at least. Now let's see if she's actually letting anybody see him. Must be less than a month. January 9th. Oh, January 9th? Oh, look, look, Stefan. You see? Oh, yeah. Oh, so cute. Just one? Just the one. It's her second. <laughs> oh, you're gonna carry Let's see. She should have done the other way. No, not if you want to be protective of it. Yeah. Well, this is really freaking annoying. Came over here by the Meerkat exhibit. Took the lens cap off my camera. And it's now down in there somewhere. Yeah, damned if I can get my hand down there. Uh, trying to t find someone who works at the zoo to at least inform them that it's down there and maybe I can get it back eventually, but uh, yeah. Only one baby. And I lost my lens cap. Not a good day at the zoo.